Welcome back to Erison Gaming. I'm Rush and this is DCS 1.5. I just wanted to do a quick second video today and uh, this is just a request from a few people on the Reddit forums as well as the DCS forums. Is uh, I think it was Raymon uh, of the DCS forums that uh, put a post up uh, showing me about Project Iris which is another eye tracking software that you can use um, in association with the Toby iX um, hardware. So what Iris actually does is it uh, converts your eye movement into complete control of your mouse where if I blink with my left eye I can have that as a left click, if I blink with my right eye I can have that as a right click. Um, I can also add modifiers and stuff like that. So it's uh, quite an interesting piece of um, software. What it does seem to be is it seems to be more aimed towards um, uh, disabled people I believe. Um, it doesn't have, well no, I tell a lie, it's not designed for flight sims. Uh, the fidelity that I need or to flick these switches on here is a lot higher than what the software currently offers. Um, the, the software itself here, to show you the overlay screen here, so the software itself is, this is the control panel and I can use this control panel with my eyes or with my mouse and you can see the size of the blocks uh, quite large so this is your target area that you can blink in or look at and um, it will activate a click outside of that though if you wanted to go to a smaller area it doesn't quite work too well so the software that I've got set up right now is that I'm moving the mouse with the mouse pointer with my mouse but I have it turned on so I can blink my eyes to click switches so I just blinked my left eye. I can blink my left eye again. So how that's practical in flight sims, I don't really know. Uh, I don't think there's any practical use for that whatsoever, unless of course you have a broken hand, broken finger, or some kind of disability. Um, but it is useful, I guess. It is exciting where the software could go. Uh, I have my right eye bound as right click. So if I went to an object that could be right clicked, there we go. I just blink my right eye and away I go. And again I'm controlling the pointer with my mouse right now. But what I'll do now is I will flick over to controlling everything with my eyes. So as we can see I'm now moving the pointer with my eyes and I'll just blink out of that. Oh, it's a little bit awkward here as you can see there's some limitations. So now the pointer dances around where my eyes look. It's right in the center. At the same time, the head tracking, the head tracking, the eye, the head tracking in game using eye tracking, uh, it's hard to describe, I guess, um, is moving me around the cockpit as well. And sort of somewhere in the center of my focal point is where the pointer will be. So I'll go ahead and try and turn the aircraft on by just looking at the switches. And this is probably the best I've ever gotten. Nope. Turn the battery back off again. There we go. So I can flick some things. Uh, the usability of it is not that great. I'm trying to focus on that red handle down there and finally got to it. Um, so there is some function to it. It does work, but well, uh, no. Uh, it doesn't work well enough to function quickly. Uh, being able to move my mouse and quickly flick those switches is a hell of a lot easier than this. Now the concentration to try and get the point on target is huge. Okay, I'm giving up on that one. Um, <laughs> but I'll try and flick on the fuel booster here. Focus on the switch. Focus on and easy win. Uh, so it does work. Uh, it is a good program. Now, uh, again, I'm just like Toby, I'm no way endorsed to do this video. Um, the software for Project Iris, just the software, is 99 euros, um, which is obviously about $10,000 to everywhere else other than Europe. Um, so that, in association with owning the Toby IX, which has its own software, is there much use to it? Uh, I, I I can't recommend it. Not at all. For not, not, not another $99. It's the cost of the Toby IX again, just for software. And the Toby IX comes with proprietary software. It is exciting, though, that this is 
uh, being developed that this will be a part of games and uh, like I said in my original review is uh, I'm sure with the advent of virtual reality headsets and stuff like that eye tracking is only going to go uh, up and up um, so the software will develop and hopefully we will see something that's usable and uh, I'll try and flick on the mags here nope, oh the concentration is real I'm going to get it Uh, I got one mag, that's enough to start, whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> it is hard to use. It's hard to focus. The fidelity is not quite there. I'm just going to turn it off. And uh, There we go. The fidelity is not quite there. And the Toby IX, when you actually calibrate um, for your eyes, the Toby IX aims to get your cursor within a point of reference about the size of this gauge here, the carb temperature gauge. That gives you an idea. So when you're trying to put that target over all of these switches, that's a bit of an issue. Um, it just doesn't quite have the fidelity. Now I don't know whether that's a hardware or software issue. I'm not going to um, you know, talk about that because I just don't know. Um, I guess as the hardware and software uh, matures, uh, hopefully we'll see a good piece of equipment that we can use in simulators. But until then, uh, I wouldn't be throwing out your mouse anytime soon. Uh, you're going to need it for a lot longer. Anyway, if you'd like any further follow-up videos, or as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or uh, send me a message. Anyway, thanks.